working. Hey guys, my name is Sabrina. Um, I am currently prepping for a wellness show in 16 weeks and I just wanted to vlog and talk about a few things. I'll be showing you what I eat in a day. I'll go over my macros, um, how prep is going, my training, and my coach and everything. So we'll get into that. Um, I tried prepping last year around um, the end of 2020 for the Metropolitans in New York. Um, that got canceled because of COVID. So that didn't go through. So we're giving it a shot again. Um, I was kind of worried with timing, but then I kind of realized that there's never going to be a perfect timing and you just got to go for it. So here I am and I really want to do it this time. I need to get on stage. Um, I think it'll be really fun. It'll be a great experience. 16 weeks out. I am 5'6". I am 148 pounds currently. Um, I'll post my current check-ins as well. So usually people don't talk about their macros or their calorie intake or their training or their cardio because everyone's body is different and everyone's body reacts a different way. For example, my macros might not work for anyone else, but they work for me. I struggle with losing fat in my legs. It'll probably be the last thing to lean up. So my upper body will probably be completely shredded and my lower body will be struggling. <laughs> I would highly recommend either getting a coach or getting a trainer or some of that sort or do your own research. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how I started my fitness journey. I mean, I just kept reading ebooks and watching YouTube videos just like this and learning about macros and caloric intake and you know, there's a lot of people out there putting misinformation. You just have to find what works for you. So anyway, my coach is Paul Rebellia. Um, you guys probably have seen him on YouTube. He's pretty big. Um, he is a macro coach, which I love. Um, listen to each his own. I personally love macros. I cannot just clean eat all the time and then have one cheat meal. That's just not for me. If I have, if I restrict myself too much, I end up binging and ruining my entire diet. Doesn't work for me. With macros, like if I'm craving a piece of chocolate today, I can fit it in. If I want um, a Halo top later, I can fit it in. If I want a Quest bar, like those little things that like just keep you on track. For the day those are that's what's important like whatever works for you for me i need to have a little bit of chocolate that's just how it goes um so currently i currently i'm on six low carb days one high carb day my high carb day is like 240 carbs and my low carb days are at 150 which is pretty high for some people um, my protein, it's around 140, and my fats can vary, usually around 40, um, just to keep the hormones going and for the body to work properly, so I need to include the fats in there. My calories are like 1,500 with low carb, so six days out of the week, it's 1,500, and then that high carb day goes up to like 1,800, 1,900. I'm doing cardio five days a week, uh, two hit sessions. Uh, legs three times a week and one upper body day. Cardio I usually do fasted. Uh, I just do it first thing in the morning before work. It's just uh, like I would say it's like therapy for me. I kind of clear my head in the morning, listen to some music, feel good, I go to work. There's a reason I picked Paul as my coach and it's because of macros. Macro, macros give you the flexibility to be able to go out and be with family, be with friends, keep relationships, um, just be a normal person. With macros, like I know, all right, if I have a few carbs left, I know I can go get a salad with one of my friends at a restaurant, and I know I can use this or that. Try macros. <laughs> you'll never know if you'll love it. So this is how it usually goes in the morning. So we got um, ice, we got a little bit of water. 
so we have 123 grams which is like an average banana that's gonna go with my shake as well as my protein so i really like the nutribio classic way i just love the taste i'm very picky um i've had so many proteins in the past and they just taste gross or they're too watery so we're gonna zero this out and it says the serving is about 33 grams oh so just in case usually the full scoop is 33 but Yep, so 33. When we open it, it comes out this cool ice cream looking shake. <laughs> so, little pro tip um, I freeze my bananas, it just comes out more like ice cream. What I do is I buy a bunch of bananas, I wait till they're like ripe, and then I freeze them. Um, just because like the timing is kind of hard sometimes, so this way if it's in the freezer, they're good to go whenever you need it. It's basically like a banana ice cream. It's really good. And it'll keep you fuller, longer, not a lot of air in it. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to have meal two, which is going to be the pre-workout meal. So the, the pre-lift meal where I need to have at least like 37 grams of carbs and my protein needs to be like around 40. So I love to get these tortillas, um, they're 80 calories each, uh, let's see if we can focus here. Alright, the carbohydrates are 14, so that with a little bit of brown rice, and then we got some chicken going on. Um, the tortilla, I put it right on the pan, so along with that I do my G Hue sugar free ketchup, also my favorite. This one I measure out too when I eat, so I'll probably do like two servings. And I'll track that on my fitness pal as well. So with these, I just put the pan with some heat. And I'm just going to throw it on there for a little bit for it to heat up. And we're going to do 5 ounces of chicken cooked. So over here, we're going to do... Alright, so we're gonna, just going to grab... Yep, you're gonna have to play around with it and make sure it's exact. Um, then we have some race going on, so that's gonna be I mean, six of a cup, which is definitely a hundred grams. So again, we're gonna do unit. All right, and then we're gonna zero it out. So we're gonna do a hundred. it's rising so I turn the heat off and I just let it stay warm so this is at 100 then we're gonna do see so you have to do some math when it comes down to um, getting the macros exact if you do the math then this should be 120 for 0.6 of a cup just get the macros right So that's perfect, and then I have my tortilla, and then when I eat, I'll throw in the g -Hues. Okay, so we have the meal here, I'm just going to put in my sugar-free, so we're going to do two servings, so the 16 and 2, which is 32. Alright, so we got 32, and that's first, uh, that's my pre-list meal. Okay, so just finished my leg day. This was the last day of the seven day training. Um, we gotta eat, <laughs> we gotta get those carbs. So again, my post lift meal is pretty basic. 
Uh, I do chicken, I do broccoli, and then I do brown rice. And I make sure to have at least 40 grams of protein after my workout. And then I make sure to have, again, like 30 grams of carbs um, after. So I'll show you right now. Our chicken, we got our broccoli and brown rice. You got our scale. So we're going to do 5.6 ounces of chicken. All right. Did, and now we're gonna do three ounces of broccoli. With broccoli, obviously it bothers everyone's stomach, but I usually do it um, towards the night time. So this way I'm not bloated throughout the day. So we got three ounces right there. Um, veggies are so important. I'll probably have this and like a salad later uh, just to keep me full throughout the night. And then I have my brown rice. Not so much. I also have to make more food. Alrighty, this is what I'm gonna eat for my post-workout meal. And then we have rice cakes and PB before bed. So we'll get back to that. So I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit from this. Um, I love diet soda. It keeps me full, it has zero calories, and um, it tastes good. So with my meals, I usually have Coke Zero. Um, it's usually with one meal. I don't drink soda before the gym because then I'll be super bloated. So again, it's like right before bedtime when, um, doesn't really matter. I don't care if I'm bloated. I just want to feel full before I go to sleep. So those are little tips and tricks. Listen, it's zero calories. Um, yes, there's artificial sugar, but it keeps you full and it tastes good. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get shit for it, I'm sure. So usually around nighttime, I get that sweet craving and I love to do my chocolate rice cakes with a little bit of peanut butter. They're 60 calories each. The carbohydrates are 12, protein one, and the fat is one. So if you have carbs left over, it's great. 